Hello, my YouTube friends. Today, I want to show you how to create these awesome effects in OBS for your live streams. Oh, and it's totally free. So let's get to it. <laughs> The goal on this channel is to help you become a better live streamer and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So leave me a comment down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, click that thumbs up button. It goes a long way towards helping YouTube share this video with a wider audience. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of video and graphic assets for your videos and your live streams. Now I created all my live streaming video assets using Envato Placeit. My countdown timer, my branding bumper, the guest wait screen, ending and start screens were all created with Envato Placeit. And they all use my logo, which was created in Placeit too. Placeit has hundreds of awesome video templates to choose from. And then you can modify them by choosing different colors, texts, and text fonts, adding segments, music, and even changing the speed of each segment to create your own epic scenes. This gives you an infinite number of video possibilities for your streams and videos. So please click that link in the description and check out Envato Place It for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to keep me making content that helps you. So thanks. We're gonna need two free items today to make this work. The first thing is an effect file. There's a link in the description so you can download it. The second is the StreamFX plugin. And of course, there is a link in the description so you can download that as well. And it's totally free. Here we are on the download page and we're just gonna click go to download in the top right. And it brings us up to this install page and we can scroll down here. This gives you all kinds of other information on everything this plugin can do. And it's a lot. We're just going to go down here to assets and we're going to download the Windows version. There is a Mac OS version as well as a Linux version here for you to install if you like, but we're using Windows. So we're just going to download that. Once we're done, we just need to go to the location of our downloads and we can double click on the stream effects download. We're gonna click on more info here. It does this because this is an unsigned program and we wanna just click there and then click run anyways. You may also need to disable your virus scan software. It may not install if you have it running or it may give you an error. And once you get to this point, you just click install for all users and then you're gonna accept the agreement and click next and i'm going to install static you may have yours set up portable if you do that's fine you can click portable and then you click next and you're just going to want to make sure that this is the location of your obs installation and as long as it is you can go ahead and click install and of course mine is going to fail because i'm running obs studio to actually record this but all you really need to do once you get to that point is click next through everything and then finish and stream fx will be on your system now the other five File is just a link that's in the description. You just click on that, it will download the file. You wanna save that file to somewhere you're gonna remember because when we're using this plugin, you're going to need to point to that file. So just remember where you put it and it should be good to go. Now this is a green screen effect, so be sure to have it up and lit properly. If you don't have a green screen, check out the videos linked in the description for some free green screen solutions. Just keep in mind, the best solution is always going to be a real green screen. They aren't very expensive at all, and I put a link in the description to the portable one that I use, so you can check that out too. Okay, here in OBS, I have a few nested scenes already created. You can see I have a camera, I have one with just a color, one with a video, one with just a static background, and then my regular background. So I'm just gonna click this plus and we're going to go ahead and start building our scene. So I'm just gonna call this NSC and G for camera and glass. And then I'm gonna go to the scene. I'm gonna add my camera and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the second one, which is gonna be our glass. I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm gonna right click on the glass, go to transform and edit transform. And I wanna change my size. We're going to go ahead and do 960 by 540, which which is one quarter of the screen and click close. So there we go. Now I'm gonna right click on this and go to transform and copy transform. And then I'm gonna select the camera 
and I'm gonna go to transform and paste the transform and then move it over here to the right. And that paste thing is gonna save you a lot of work. So now we can see we have our video on the top left and our camera on the top right. The next thing we're gonna do is right click on our scene and go to filters. And we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to shader. And I'm just gonna click okay and we're gonna browse to the file. Now this is going to be the file that we saved from the description down below. Wherever you put this, as long as you remember it, all you need to do is find that file and select it right here. The file, of course, is called videomasks.effect. Once you find that file, just select it and click open. And there we go. Now we have exactly what we're looking for. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another scene and we're gonna combo this up. So I'm just gonna call it combo CNG and click OK. I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna just add that scene we just created, the NS CNG. Then I'm gonna use the Alt key and I'm gonna go ahead and crop this up. So we crop out our other one. We just want the one with the fancy mask overlay. And I'm just gonna make sure I crop it properly and size it up so it is usable however we wanna use it. And there we go. That is the basics. Now sometimes, depending upon your green screen lighting, some of these may be a little bit opaque. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another scene and I'm gonna call this NS-BBG for black background. And I'm gonna go ahead and in sources, select my camera. Then I'm gonna right click on that actual scene and go to filters and we're gonna go up and we're gonna select color grading and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dial down this lift so that it's black and I'm gonna click close now just so you can see what this looks like I'm gonna go ahead and add a color source behind it so you can see what it looks like in the scene. We'll drag it down and there you go. So this is just our camera in total black. Let's delete that. And then we're gonna go back into combo C and G. Uh, let's reorganize this quick. Now we're gonna go into our combo C and G and I'm gonna add a scene. I'm gonna add that black background. So if you notice that your stuff is too transparent, you can add the black background and drag it below your other thing. And that's gonna brighten it up a little bit. Now my green screen is lit properly so it doesn't make much of a difference but that's how you can fix that slightly translucent effect now we're going to quickly do this with the other ones that we have loaded here so this one is going to be cnc for camera and color We've got our color loaded in there we're going to go ahead and paste that transform again and paste the transform on our camera drag our camera over here to the right then we're going to go to the scene right click select filters we're going to click the plus and select the shader filter then we're going to browse to the location of that file we downloaded video masks effect and there we go we've set it up now we have to click the plus and we're going to combine it so we're going to have the combined cnc for camera and color we'll click that plus we'll add our nested cnc scene in here and we're just going to crop this up make it usable and once again you see those green lines that's because i'm using the alt key to crop these up so hold down the alt key and drag to crop your sources and there you go you won't have it all skewed and everything like that now what we're going to do is add the black background on there just because i like to make it a good rule of thumb just in case the next time i set up my green screen it's not quite as awesome as it is right now and now we're going to do a ns c and b and that stands for camera and bricks so we're going to add that brick image in here and there we go and all we need to do is right click on each of our assets and paste that transform in there so they're in the top right and we'll drag it over here and we're going to go and and select filters in our scene go to the shader browse to the shader this will be the video mask effect and there we go now we'll just reorganize these a little bit and click the plus under scenes we're gonna add in our combo C and B scene click the plus add in our scene right here this will be just the NS C and B and then we have to crop this up so we just hold the alt key and drag it and we'll make it a little bigger here and make sure that our crop is proper and there we go that looks pretty good and we'll just click this plus we'll add a scene we're going to add that black background behind this just in case there we go and i added one more here what i'm going to do is drag these scenes over here because it makes it easier that you can see them all so we have our base we have our combined and then we have the full combo scenes so what we're going to do is we're going to create a final scene and we'll click OK we're gonna click the plus under sources and we're gonna go to scenes and we're just gonna add these combo scenes in here and we'll shrink them down a little bit 
and we'll add the next one, which is just my regular standard background and our color, which is just that red color card. And the last one, of course, is our video, the glass video. And there we go. So you could see that you could do all kinds of absolutely amazing things with this. I'm gonna add one more. We're gonna do another scene here and click OK. We're gonna reuse our brick combo scene. So I'm gonna add that scene in here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add another scene. And we're just gonna add the original brick background scene. And there we go. We'll drag this below. And that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go into Find and I'm just gonna add that scene we just created with the brick background and the brick overlay and we'll resize this up and this gives you some idea of some of the cool different unique things that you can do we'll place it right here we'll drag it all the way to the bottom so it's behind everything else and there you go that is how you can create some incredible masks that are just dynamic and super cool for your live streams. That effect is so cool. I love it. If you wanna see how to create dynamic masks for your live stream totally free, check this video out. Big thanks to today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. There are links to Placeit and all of our other sponsors in the description below under sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that keep the lights on here in the studio helps me create content that helps you. And I couldn't possibly do this without them or you you. So thanks. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.